Special shout out to Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kitty, Yushika Bay, Madlow, Sam Medina, Harrington, Killer Bunny 264, and The Hellraiser for your amazing support. To become members or patrons like them, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Darkness Falls Mod. So before we continue, I just want to announce that at the end of the month, or the beginning of the new month, I am going to be launching a new server. It's going to be a members and patrons only server, so guys, if you want to join me, check out the links down below for the Patreon, or you can click the join button. If you want to support me more, I actually prefer or advise you to take the Patreon option, uh, since as you guys know, with the memberships, uh, YouTube takes 30%. So, but yeah, uh, if you want to join me on the server, uh, be, consider becoming a patron, and I hope to see you guys on the server. I'm going to be playing there, streaming from there and everything, so it's going to be fun. Also, now, back to Seven Days to Die Darkness Falls mod. Apparently, there's been a new update. Oh, it's still in dev build, the newest update for Darkness Falls. But it does introduce, like, the broadcasting feature and all of that stuff. So, what I think I'm going to do is, instead of 50% XP, we're going to be playing 150 Guys, I don't want to go 300 because that's going to be too much. Uh, I could turn up the difficulty, but that's instantly going to give us the biggest and baddest of bosses. We're not there yet. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it on Warrior. I'm going to put the day speed instead of Jog to run. And then I'm going to put it from 50% XP to 150. So we're going to be leveling fast now, getting uh, game stage faster, and then encountering bosses soon as well. Um, also, I've been reading your comments, guys. I went and did a little bit of the inventory management. Basically, most of the weapons I combined into three weapons so with all the shotguns i made sure there was only three left all the way repaired and then we're gonna sell all of these and then i can't believe i forgot about stacks you can actually make your resources and your ammo you can turn them into bundles and it saves so much space i'll show you guys what i mean now come on come on in oh yeah i also made uh, uh i made new turrets guys we this. need a third turret as soon as possible but yeah, basically over here, the shotgun ammo was all the way over here, like almost two rows. Now it's just like two stacks of 19. There's 19 bundles, two stacks. I keep uh, confusing two stacks with all the stacks with bundles. Basically, this is a stack, but there's 10 bundles in this one stack. But yeah, you can do it with all your resources. I did it with the slugs, I did it with the shotgun ammo. We can do it with more over here. Uh, resources as well. I turned all of the stone into stacks. We could do the rest as well, but for now, they're not taking up that much space. And then also, you guys have been complaining about this. Guys, I'm just a hoarder. I don't always pay attention to what's inside my loot over here. Let me just quickly grab these. Let's grab this. As you guys can see, I am now preparing to have way more turrets. Uh, I also went and made two ablative armors, and then I had to sell all my stacks of arrows. Uh, I basically went and sold all the stacks except for the titanium crossbow bolts over here, because I'm going to try the crossbow bolt. There is a titanium crossbow bolt, and it's going to fire pulse grenades, all that stuff. But for now, yeah, um, I'm going to keep these, but all the others, the steel, the iron, well, most of the steel, the trader didn't want more. I sold, I uh, got a little bit of cash. I could have just taken the cash over here instead of selling stuff and then going. But at least I helped with the inventory a bit. Uh, but yeah, I had to do that to buy more of these generic notes because we ran out making the blades of armors. Let me just quickly put these on before I forget. That one already has on, this one does not. Hmm. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Uh, we're not really going into the cold biome, so let's take that off for now and put the blades of on. Well, we do sometimes go into the snow, but hopefully I can get that skill up as much as possible, so we don't have to worry about that. Do that. And then I want to see advanced cooling mesh. Someone actually mentioned that you might actually, by using the advanced cooling mesh in all your gear, be able to do a little bit of, like, frame, uh, when a demon hits you, you're not going to get as much damage. Because remember, it, it protects against heat. And an explosion resistance. So that uh, the explosion from the fireballs from demons, it gives resistance. And also heat resist, and that's obviously fire and stuff. Okay, so let's combine these quickly. I do have two crappy ones. I wonder. Let me just quickly check over here. As you guys can see, this whole thing is now clear. <laughs> I made a lot of space. And basically all of that turned into this. So two stacks full of weapons, or two boxes full of weapons turned into one box that's not even all the way full. Okay, so now we can go... Ooh, I need repair kits. If I were to do this right now... Uh, I just want to see, does it... Do, do these repair, or do I need to... I technically need to repair these. It is cheap enough to make repair kits, but I still hate having to do so. Let's see, repair... What do we need again in this mod? All mods have different recipes, so I have to get used to them again. Okay, we're not going to make as many, because we don't have that much duct tape left. So it's duct tape, it's cloth... It's oil and mechanical parts. Oil, we should Master, have oil left and mechanical parts. Boom. 
Okay, make repair kits, drop the rest quickly. And then we have to be on our way. Guys, I want to clear out this town as soon as possible. The sooner we can clear out this town, the sooner we can actually start doing quests in the wasteland. And we're also going to be encountering way more demons and stuff by doing that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I can't wait to test it, but it's also going to be really, really scary. For now, just drop these over here. That's going to go in my new turret. Unfortunately, we're going to have to waste now. Uh, to repair these, it's, it's just worth using these, so that's okay. Uh, same with this one and this one, but now the problem lies with this one. It feels like such a waste using level 71, but that's the only level we can craft right now. Okay, and then we have to see, do we have these mods? I'm hoping so. That's one. Uh, Anti-Rad. I uh, need a bigger mod. Where's that one? Ah, that one over there. Uh, full auto. Do we have more full auto? I did sell some of the mods, so we might not have everything over here. I'm hoping at least we have all the mods over here. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to go get more. See, we don't have the Rod and Spring, and we don't have an automatic or full auto. We do have this one, though. Let me just really see if I can't line it up exactly like it shows over there. There's that one, that one, then this one. So what I need now is a full auto. Oh, there's a full auto. There you go. And then I just need to make myself a rod and spring. Because as far as I can see, I'm not seeing another one. What do we need to make a rod and spring? Rod and spring. 15 notes. Uh, glue might be a problem. Okay, so 15 notes. I have to clear my throat quickly. It feels like there's a frog in my throat. Oh yeah, I've made some generic notes. That should be done by now. Boom, boom, boom. Three more skill points. With 150% XP, guys, we're going to level up faster. Which means uh, level 110 is going to be so much closer at hand. As you guys know, we need to be reach level 110 to start unlocking the future stuff. Okay, and then Rotten Spring. I need some steel. What else do we need? We have oil on us. Uh, oh, I need to put some of the oil back as well. Wait, where's the oil? It shows we have it on us. Dum, 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 dum. Huh? Oh. <laughs> it was right there. I was like, huh? I can't see it. Okay, so yeah. Let's put some of the oil back so later it's easier to drop. But yeah, all we need now is duct tape. No, not for this. Rod and spring. Rod and spring. Uh, Yeah, all we need now is glue and mechanical parts and springs. Uh, glue. Do we have glue? No, we only have one. Was I busy making? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping I actually started making some glue over here because I need way more right now. We do have murky water. No glue in there. I tried I making some more space in the food as well. We have all this stuff over here that we still have to come and use. Chicken coops are done as well. Okay, I'm going to have to make some glue over here then. But yeah, I made some uh, space with the food by going and making these, but it's not that much space. As you guys can see, it's still a little bit... I should actually separate the water and the food at least. Most of this food I'm not even going to use, so I can just go and scrap it. Like, for example, the cat food. I don't think you can actually use the cat food for anything at the moment. Okay, I just need like three, no, four more glue because we already have one. And then what was there? Were well, those my repair kits? I'm running out of coal ammo as well, so we're definitely going to have to focus on that. Okay, now with the zombies running during daytime as well, I have to be a little bit more careful. Wait, where did that lady go just now? Is there a hole over here? How did they make this hole? I didn't even realize they made a hole already. I'm still trying to get my, uh, my breaking entering higher, that's why I'm using a club at the moment. The moment we can actually go and enhance our crowbar even further, that's going to be awesome. Okay, we can actually put away this one for now then. Uh, the glue should be done, thank you. Okay, and then we just have to make the rod and spring. Oh, mechanical parts. It's a shame we can't make them on us. But you have to make the the um, stuff, like the, uh, the the mods and stuff in there. So if I say rod and spring, it shows you have to use the workbench. Now the uh, workbench is actually busy with stuff over here. Um, let me just quickly go and stop this, even this one. It feels like such a waste because it was so close to being done. At least I don't think we have to craft anything else at the moment, so we can quickly put everything away. And as soon as that mod is done, we'll be able to just be on our way. Like I said, we have so many pure eyes. I don't think there's actually that many in this town left. But we do have quite a few pure eyes that I want to finish before um, we go to the wasteland. I want to make sure this town is completely done. 
Okay, we need way, way, way more. I need to start making some steel casings. It's actually a wonder that I haven't started making them yet. We have some bullet tips. We just need the steel casings now, and then we should be good to go. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's the clay that we're lacking. We need a lot more clay. Okay, at least 400 or so bullets extra will do quite a bit of damage, so that's a good thing we have those. Um, I'm going to move this up. Hmm... Well, it's going to take a time for those bullets to be crafted anyway, so I should probably do that. And then this is also... Look at that, that's almost done. As soon as I fill up all three, this is going to go fast. So we need to see if we can't find some clay somewhere. We really, really need some clay. Also, we only have 202 uranium left, so I need to be careful with that. Okay, this should be done. Thank you, thank you. And now the mods... Oh, the, the turrets look exactly the same. Oh, wow. Do all of them actually have another spot to use? What other mod can I put in there? There has to be one more mod that we can actually put in there though, but I have to have three of it. Otherwise, it's going bother, <laughs> to bother the hell out of me. Um, I don't know. I think they already have the NCID. No, they don't. Can they take an NCID? I don't think so. I think I tried that last time. If I can put like the freezing mods or something on them so they can slow down the zombies as well, that would be awesome. But for now, let's just go and make sure all of these are reloaded. We have all the armors we need and we can finally, finally be on our way. So, uh, you're nothing special. This is one of the trader quests. I wonder if I shouldn't do this. Head back up and then do the buildings over there. But nothing special is going to be a bunch of demons as well, so I need to be careful. But at least we'll be able to put this one to the test now. Now we have three turrets that can stop the region of uh, demons and stuff, so it's going to be super easy to do this. This way, right? Yeah, kill some infected zombies. We'll do this, then we go to the trader and see if we can't um, go for the buildings above. All of the other buildings close by us, we've already completed. So the moment that's done, we can actually we can actually make like a temporary kind of base at the wasteland. But what I'm also going to have to do is we have to make sure we can go and make a farm over here, guys. Now that we're definitely going to get the demons soon and the bosses and all that stuff, we need that farm. We don't have a farm yet or anything near a farm, so we might have a big problem. Yeah, this thing's going to go through. I'm, that's what I'm actually thinking. Now that we have these, I don't need a coil weapon anymore. I'm going to use it, but at least if we run out, we don't have to worry too much. Oh, there are demons. Oh, don't hit any zombies, John. If you hit zombies, your vehicle gets destroyed. Hello, NPC. Are you going to help us? Okay, so this is going to be so much easier. Are you standing still, dude? I actually commented and said uh, the zombies are too... I take them around too easy, perhaps up the difficulty a bit. The thing is, the difficulty is actually quite high. It's just that now with the turrets and stuff, the weaker zombies like these are easy enough to kill. These are all still weak, guys. We still have to encounter so many boss zombies. Because the moment we start getting more incubi, succubi, the monarchs, patriarchs, all those dudes, we are gonna suffer. That's why I don't just want to go and up the difficulty just right off the bat, because then we're gonna suffer later. See, 500 HP, this is not the Wandering Traders. I need Wandering Traders right now. Okay, so we need to go to the Trader quickly. I think we've done most of the buildings. We still have to go do some over here, but I think all of these have been done. I should probably just pop uh, through them and see if there are any more there to be done, but I think we just definitely need to do a little bit more of the, uh, the city itself, and then we're finished. Most of the outskirt buildings to the bottom have been done, and the city on the bottom over here has been done as well. So the moment we can actually say, yes, we're done, we can go to the wasteland. And there's so many awesome buildings over here there that I want to check out. And obviously there's way more demons, so we are going to fight for our lives like crazy. Make sure you have this on so you get three rewards. Great job. Great How job. Serve you? Oh yeah, we're going to sell this one. Oh, I should actually go and sell the other stuff as well. I made it to be sold and then I didn't bring it with me. Okay, any more jobs? Not that I can actually do can it I right now. You? Yeah, it's at the... Wait, is it in town? Okay. If it's in town, it's not that bad. We can actually perhaps go and try and do it. But now, though, let me just see where we have and have not looted yet. Have we done this one? I think we've definitely done the Bates Motel. Yeah, that's empty. So I think we've done... And the front door's broken down. So we've definitely done this one. I can't remember exactly which pure eyes in the beginning of the game we have and have not done. We quickly just have to check like this. I think even this one must or might be done. 
It's one of the tougher pure eyes, so I do need to be careful. At least there should be no zombie up here. So it allows me to quickly check. Oh, nice. We haven't done this one yet. So we have not moved up yet. We looted down towards up here, and that's it. But guys, this one is tough enough to actually have a, a few demons in here. Or perhaps even a few sleeper behemoths. The thing I'm actually going to be worried about is when the titans come. Because the titans, uh, at my horde base during horde night, guys, one titan, just one, did the half of a block of damage to my titanium block. So basically, half that uh, titanium block was just destroyed in one hit. Apparently, they're, base, uh, they're buster bunkers. They're, they're tough, tough zombies that are supposed to wreck your defense. And yeah, you can actually see that that is what they do. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. I need to see if I can't help the turret out a bit just to save some ammo. As you guys saw just now, that's already a demon. Hello, turret. Shoot him. Come to me, dude. Come to me. I'm going to have to take you down damage per second style. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I think this was in the way because the, the thing just now didn't see him. Oh, mutated one. Yeah, okay, guys. The game is about to get so much harder. Our game stage and everything is so high that now the sleepers are starting to get a little bit tougher. I could actually go that way, but let's just go this way around. I want to make sure that the turrets are more or less reloaded and ready. We just loot everything. We do need clay, so I'm going to be picking up the clay pots as well. Before I forget. And then technically, I need to be wrenching these. It's, all, it's just a one-shot kill. Oh, wow. Uh, I think I might actually be able to destroy this fast. I don't think we need the lever, a lever right now, so we'll just do this one room. But yeah, we haven't really been doing any of the looting. We've just been focusing on horde knights and stuff. So that's why it looked so easy. Now, the game is about to change. I just want to do that. As I'm walking through, I need to put my turrets down. But I also need to remember to pick the turrets back up. I wonder if I shouldn't just focus on... But I, must, I should probably loot everything, right? I was about to say, I wonder if I shouldn't just focus on getting the final stash and clearing the place. Otherwise, I'm picking up a lot of junk right now. We can go for the pot of plants, but everything else... We really don't need this stuff, do we? We're just going to end up selling it or uh, scrapping it or whatever anyway, so... Yeah, let me just see... I need to be so careful when I'm clearing these places. Because there might be a demon or a behemoth. The behemoth is going to be the hardest one to clear. If there's a behemoth in here, we have a major, major problem. But the titan even more so, because like I said, the titans do a ton of block damage. We are a dude behind the counter, so let's just close this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, at least you're not a demon. I, I just can't not loot. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I think if I get a ton of crap, I'll just start dropping it. But for now, let's just loot as much as we can. We do need supplies. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I need to remember to actually start doing this. Oh, so what level are we right now? Level 108. But with 150% XP, we should be able to reach 110. Perhaps even this episode. As soon as we reach level 110, we'll be able to finally, finally, finally go for some laser tech. Make our own, do that kind of stuff. I'm not even wearing the uh, stuff that takes away the noise anymore, so I don't wonder why the zombies don't hear me. There's definitely a zombie or two around this corner, usually. I should probably help my turrets a bit, because at the moment, I feel guilty. Uh, I'm uh, losing ammo like crazy. And we don't have the clay to make more ammo. So if I don't do most of the killing and I let the turrets do the most, uh, then we will lose out and we won't have any more ammo left in the future. The problem, however, is the fact that uh, there might be demons and behemoths, so I have to put this down. The turrets will stun the behemoths and the titans at least. As we go, I need to make sure we re reload these. Cannot afford to get somewhere and all of a sudden we can't face them. 
That's because it's not reloaded. Come on, baby. Pop over there. Master, we are not here. See, as soon as the turrets hit the demons, they die so easily. It's amazing. It's awesome. Okay, I'm just going to put this one here for a little bit of backup. Uh, technically, I need to range these bases. This is only one shot to destroy them. Because we do need uh, pipes. We do need short iron pipes, all that stuff. So, I mean, I mean we uh, do need uh, springs and short iron pipes and all that stuff. So, we definitely need to do this. Even the lights. Technically, I need to be ranging the lights for more parts. But if I do that, it's going to take way too freaking long. So I want to make sure I get everything done as soon as possible. I'm hoping for way more books as well. I need more generic notes. Okie dokie. So. Let me just do this. I want to make sure at least there's one turret down. We don't have to have all of them down. But at least if one is down. We know that it's going to alert us if something attacks us. The more resources we have as well, the better. It seems during Horde Night, at least we didn't suffer too much damage to the titanium. But we are soon going to need more titanium. We only have like a little bit of forged titanium left. We're going to need so much more. Nice melee. We need to make sure we max this melee out. So we're supposed to go down there, but first we clear this room. I've got a bad feeling about this. Look how easy that is. You just put the turrets down and they annihilate them. No wonder people can actually clear out the big tech bunker with just turrets. As long as you make sure you have the ammo for it, you can do so, so much damage. I'm actually really happy that I made a third turret just now because it really does help. It makes all the difference in the world. I'm going to make sure we grab at least all the scrap polymers as well. We do have quite a bit of scrap polymers at the base. I'm just aiming for level 110 right now before we continue. Because I want to make sure that we can actually unlock that other um, future tech thing. Oh, I'm going to have to be careful of wandering zombies right now. If a wandering horde hits us here with all the demons and stuff inside them, the turrets might be able to help us. But I wonder how much. Like it. Usually when I'm inside this place, we actually get a few wandering hordes coming or wandering horde or two coming through. So, and it's usually at the, uh, the, the final room that I can actually let them down towards me. So we're just going to put all of our turrets uh, trained at that location and then hope for the best. Also, this room above us, where all the final zombies are and stuff, there might be actually a behemoth of here. Usually it's in the, at the final stash where we're going right now. Or like in a very unsuspecting place that they put the behemoths. So I'm definitely going to have to put all three turrets down just in case. At least they should have enough ammo left for now. Okay. My senses have picked up something. I want to make sure not to make too much noise because right above us, all the sleepers are there. Oh, wow, that was fast. It seems if you're hitting, like if you do this, it goes so much faster. You don't have to range it, you can actually hit the thing. But actually getting it to the right angle to hit is a little bit of a tough uh, thing to actually master. As soon as you do it though, it's so easy. Okay, so now we pick these up. One on this door. Melee time! I want to make sure that I can kill them without uh, the turret seeing. That way we can actually ensure that we might be able to get the kill with this. I, I want to make sure that my uh, breaking entering skill, my melee skill goes up. I wonder what level it is right now. We have 5 skill points to spend. Blunt weapon skill is at 30. It needs to be 40. No, it needs to be 40, right? So I need to use this thing for 40 more skills of yet. You have to, it's action skills. So the more I use this, the more that goes up. 
I think this counts as a... The plasma baton counts as a melee act. I'm hoping. Otherwise, I'm doing all of this for nothing. Imagine one HP left, he explodes. That will really, really, really suck for me. Okay, so let's just quickly go. Um, the nice thing is in this mod, you can scrap everything. And, and under it Legacy, you have to be at the base to scrap stuff. Technically, clothing with dyes on, I want to keep for now. Because I need more dyes for more black dye. Uh, and then so, uh, to make some more ink, and then we can make more generic notes and stuff. So it's not completely useless at the moment, but you have to make sure we save this stuff. Okay. At least for now, that should be enough space. We're going to clear the top of here, and I'm going to put turrets lined up around the wall, because there's going to be so many zombies over here. All the tough zombies are on this side. There might even be behemoths and stuff, so I need to be careful. Sometimes there's a zombie on this side. Okay, can I see any red uh, particle effects on that side? Which actually just first look that side, but let me just clear this place. Okay. I don't see any red particles. There shouldn't be any demons on that side. But what we're going to do is this. This. And this. So no matter where they appear, my turrets will shoot them. And then I just have to fire one shot. I have to basically hit a zombie on that side before all of them wake up. Uh, can I jump without bumping my head? I'm actually going to have to go there. I don't have a gun that makes a sound like a shotgun or something. Incoming enemy. Prepare for conflict. See this way? Oh, there's a demon over there somewhere. But since all the turrets are shooting it, it loses its regen. They're wondering what upstairs. Sounds like it. So what I could do is lure them down here and do this. I need to reload these actually. I'll let them break through. I don't know if it's a wandering horde or just a few wandering zombies. If I break that open now, it's going to help the wandering horde if that's not the wandering horde. So let's just wait. Just let's see what uh, what is that. If they come down here, at least we have our turrets trained on the door. So we don't have to worry too much. Come on. Guys, but now you can actually already see with the level of zombies and the intensity and stuff. The fact that most of the sleepers are demons. The series is going to get a lot more fun. <laughs> Hopefully because a lot of people have said, uh, well, a few people have said it's getting a little bit stale because it's just too easy. But that's because we haven't really, uh, at 50% XP, guys, we haven't been progressing as fast as we're supposed to. Now that we're progressing as fast as we're supposed to because we have uh, our XP set up to 150, we're definitely going to get way tougher zombies way faster. So I might just also die a few times. I've already died five times. And it's been easy so far. <laughs> so when it gets difficult now... Oh, we're always at level 110. Yes. Oh, wait. Um, we don't need a lockpick. We have this. Make sure we have the right glasses on for a loot bonus. Don't need that. Don't need that. Ah, I need to sell that, but it's going to take up some unnecessary space right now. Okay, this thing's usually full. Oh, yeah, we do have a tur- I still have to put stuff on my drone. I keep forgetting about my drone. It's always the basics that I forget for some reason. So let me just call you over here then. And we'll put the guns and stuff that can't stack on you. Ammo part- Oh, technically we can put the ammo parts and there's all the gun parts in there as well. Because we don't really have- uh, yeah, we don't really get that much, uh, that often, so it's easy enough for the drone to hold it. It sounds like they're breaking down towards me. If that's the case, we need to be super, super careful. Okay, put all the ammo in there, the gun parts. Ammo, ammo. And now that should at least allow us to open up everything up top without having to worry too much. I'm going to start scrapping these guys. I know I might be able to make more food at the base, but at the moment we have so much good food, we don't have to worry about the scrappy food. Be something that I have not broken in yet. Okay, cool. So what I can do is open this one door and allow the turrets to be trained on it. It doesn't seem to be a wandering ward though, so I don't have to worry too much. 
Dude, now I can focus over here because the turrets will kill whatever tries to get in there. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm still within the range of the turrets because I don't know exactly what their range is right now. They're all maxed out, so the range should be quite significant. But it's going to suck if I turn my back, get a little bit too far away, and then all of a sudden they're not active anymore. At least this is the first time in a while that I've looted this place and not have I had a wandering horde come through here while I'm looting. I'm just hoping I didn't just jinx myself. Destruction site. Okay. What I can also do is start reloading these one at a time. Come on. I'm just going to put this back down just in case. If something comes through, then we have at least one or, one or two turrets down there protecting us. Okay, now we just have to keep on going, guys. There's so many pure eyes over here left to do. This one especially is going to be tough. And then as soon as we're done there, we can go down to this. And then we just have to do this. I think we only have to do like this little spot over here. And this over here. That's it. Then this town is done and we can finally go to the wasteland. But guys, like you've seen just now, there's way more demons. If it wasn't for the fact that we have three turrets, I don't think we'd be doing this well. It's been a cool episode here. But if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comment, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. Guys, remember, like I said, I am going to be opening up a server. So if you want to join us, consider becoming a member or patron. Um, and yeah, hopefully I see you guys on the server as well. See you guys next time. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.